Sticking with the cost of living crisis, and there's been a 10% rise in council tax debt in Yorkshire in the last year, according to figures released by the government. Failures to pay council tax can end up with bailiffs at your door and extra charges on top of the debt. Here's Mark Hansel. Michelle Neal from Barnsley fell into debt after a relationship breakdown and ill health meant she couldn't work. One of the debts was her council tax and it ended up with bailiffs at her door. Thankfully, she was out at the time, but they added an extra £300 to her debt. It left her feeling suicidal. I didn't want to be here. I basically looked up to the sky and I said, Mum, I said, if you're looking down, take me now. I've always been a proud person, always been one of these that basically don't like owing anybody, likes to pay me weight. But when you're indebted to someone, it makes you feel like you're the scum of the earth. Government data shows that there's been a 10% rise in council tax debt in Yorkshire in the last year, going from nearly £439,000 up to nearly £483,000. 60% of the people Bradford charity Christians Against Poverty Help have council tax debt. The first thing that happens when you miss one payment on your council tax is unlike any other debt, you miss one payment and the whole debt falls due to you. Uh, in, in most parts of the UK, that's how the council would contact you. You've missed one payment, you owe it all, pay us it all by this date. And then it goes through a process and many local authorities will commission uh, enforcement agents, more commonly called bailiffs, to make contact with people who've missed some payments and seek to enforce orders to be able to collect those debts and maybe secure the payments against properties. The charity says councils need to offer more support. Somebody missing a payment isn't a problem for the council to solve, it's an opportunity for them to step in with support that's really needed, which could include things like checking people's entitlement to benefits with £19 billion a year of benefits going unclaimed, uh, it could include things like referrals to free debt help like organisations like Christians Against Poverty. Michelle is now debt free thanks to the help of Christians Against Poverty. They're understanding, they're compassionate, they've made me look at life in all different perspective. It's been a long time since I've smiled, I've started smiling again, <laughs> which has been an awful long time. And it's like they've given me a new lease on life. 